Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Other Theran Education, the English Council. How are you keeping? How are things with you? So this week, I feel good and I feel much better than last week. So yes, we're talking about modal verbs. So this is going to be the final week that we are discussing modal verbs. What are the modal verbs? Modal verbs are not a normal verb. You can eat, drink, sit. What is a verb? You can eat, drink, sit. What is a verb? You can eat, modal verb. You can eat, you can eat, you can eat, you can eat, you can eat. When you say, I eat, I eat. What is a verb? What is a verb? What is a verb? What is a verb? What is a modal verb? I can eat. Or you can, will, would, what are the verbs? What are the modal verbs? What are the modal verbs? What are the modal verbs? अवश्यम वेन मोडल वर्ब्स टिका आ रहे हैं ना आप ही कथा करा गिया साथी देख कर टेप सो आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ क्विक रिकॉप रिकैप ऑन व्हाट वी कवर्ड लास्ट वीक एंड आई एम प्लानिंग टू डू अ समरी एस वेल बिफोर द वीक एंड्स सो दैट यू कैन सी व्हाट यू हैव मिस्ड एंड इफ यू हैवेंट गट होल्ड ऑफ व you can of course watch us on YouTube. Uh, our YouTube channel is other than education. The English Council phase three is our playlist and watch our earlier episodes to learn the same. Right, okay. So these are the modal verbs. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must be able to have to again modal verbs are like verbs. helping verbs. Main verb is that there are verbs. You can support it. This modal verb is that you can use the word meaning. But if you have verbs, you can use the structure of the verb. You can use the word meaning. He eats, he eats, he eats. You can use the word meaning. You can use the word meaning. He can eat, I can eat. He can eat, I can eat. He can eat. The modal verb is that you can use the sentence as a full neutral. You can use the verb as a subject. खाद के रही तो ही तो ना तो आपने मेन वर्ब को ए विधियाँ तो में दान पुला फर्स्ट फॉर्म में किंगे हमने था टू इन्फिनिटिव फॉर्म में किंगे आपने दान पुला सो द स्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी इजी व्हेन कंपेयर्ड टू अदर टेंसेस बट आई मीन मोडल वर्ब्स विल हैव इट्स ओन रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट possibility, probability, uh, whether you can do something, your regrets, um, your future capabilities. So we had, uh, look at the screen, we had can, I can eat, I can eat, I can and uh, can was all about um, what you can do and giving permission to someone and then we were talking about could have or could have last week. करण न पुलु अंक हम अति बिलात आवस्था वति बिलात कर पुने ते देव वाले क्योंने समाहर लड़ा पे में वगैरह पासों ते वन में हम नेतां आपी कनेक्ट समाहर वेलाव ठाव वाद देनु आठ पुलु अंक हम अति बिलात तो आ कले नए ने के लिए क्या ना पे पाविच करना पैटर्न ने के आने could have वाले so we looked at few examples of could have I could have spoken to her मटे यार खाता करण न पुलु अंक हम अति बिलात खाता करे नेती वेला वाले तमाय में विधि टापे किया ने so we discussed the structure of could have so could have will treat all the subjects the same way so this was last week you can watch us on YouTube if you have missed the episode could have क्या ने आप इट पुलु अंक हम अति बिला Right, puluang kama tibila. Puluang kama tibila nukarapu deva. Right, nukarapu deva. And we are regretting. We are regretting now. Api pasu teve now. We are regretting now. Because we didn't do it. So you use could have in that. I could have done that. You could have done that. They could have done that. मैं भी दिए तो यार कि याने पसु तेवे ने वेलावट को ढहव दावला पुलु अंक का मति बिलात नोकर रपु देवाल गैन एंड देन वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैन एंड कूड रिक्वेस्ट यू कैन यूज कैन टू टॉक अबाउट आई कैन सिंग दैट इज योर एबिलिटी एंड आल्सो यू कैन यूज कैन एंड कूड एट द सेम टाइम to रिक्वेस्ट इट can't have a good key in a formal path that a bar I you don't get up again and do not grammar it right me up a normal conversation in English world that could you possibly could take a topic of very put a formal color ah could you possibly lend me the book will only boss a key check a maybe a highly formal setup a car or good could you possibly them a gaman could you give me that book to wada could you possibly you possibly get it right around it in it could you possibly give me that book becomes very formal and very polite. So we talked about this and then we had 
um, uh, talking about uh, we had using can and could for asking for permission. Kaging hari avasaragan no no nama can I go to the toilet? Could I uh, use your phone? May I go there? Kohuma deke permission gan vidi mukad the venice me tunama permission gani mak vidi pavich karanaplong can could may. Can kene katavada could kene ka formal and polite. May kene ka highly formal and highly polite. So we uh, had this as well. So with this, we had the most um, common example. May I go to the toilet, teacher? Can you remember when we were kids? We practiced asking for permission using may, which is highly formal, right? So uh, after that, we had asking and suggesting things using shall I, shall we. But the summon in shall like at the kapi pavichi karani, I hari, we hari. Apiko huma the kene gang, a honey deak, yam deak, karanda the kila honey, right? Emanathan. Yojana karani api make a karamu the kira. Ekata pi pavichi karani shall ki and a modal verb become. So shall we go now? Api yamu the then. Right? Look at the screen. Shall I take it? So this is like asking for something uh, which uh, again. Um, is a very polite way of asking and suggesting things. Eka mama karan dada kiela haneka. And then we had shall we? Uh, we had an exam. We had uh, activities to practice the shall questions. And then we had the shall tag last week. Shall tag kiela kiya ne? Then kaurari kiyo tapi eka karan dada kiela prashne hane na to mehmat kiya ne vela valti ne. Api sellang karamu. Api sellang karamu. Karamu da. Api ehe yamu. Yamu da. Api yata kata karamu. Kata karamu da. This pattern. Right? I'm not translating it. Make api statement te kak karala karan tag ye kak vidi eta. Right? We are using shall as a tag in this case. Look at the screen. Let's go now. Api yamu. Yamuda. This Yamuda, you don't ask, uh, shall we go kila aai yahane ne? Just you can ask, shall we? Let's go now. You have your sentence with let's. Let's do something, shall we? Let's do something, shall we? This pattern, we discussed this last week. Shall we do something? Uh, let's do something, shall we? Or you can ask it in full question, shall we go now? Or shall we do something? May David did a motor pouch karan pulang, may tag a cup with it at shall pouch karan pulang, la himanatang, shall key and a chemist suggest karan a pouch karan pulang. We had this, and then uh, to offer things politely, you can use shall I to offer things. The akran the kilahanag, shall I do this for you? Shall I give you that? Shall I call you? Shall I tell her? Mama eka karana the politely suggested, so shall in a hamatanama. Language is good, polite. Way, no? So we talked about it. And then we had the possibility of something. Which modal verbs are used to talk about possibility of something? Samahara vita. Shuana ha. Samahara vita. Me shuana teeket, right? About how certain you are. You had different modal verbs to address how sure. You are about certain things, right? Samahara vita ki ene ka ogulo dar no perhaps ki ene vachani apni metandi kata kara. Perhaps I know her. Samahara vita mama yawa dar na vati. Perhaps I know her. I may know her. Ah, perhaps I know her. I may know her. May dekka may kai. Ki ene structure ka ge na apni kata kara. Ye sumani tika vadi pura digate digate kata kala. So perhaps Sara is ill. You can say the same thing using may because may is all about uh, you're not sure about it. And it's in the present or it's in the future. Samahara there, Samahara Vita make a Then, she She may come tomorrow. Ya heta, Samahara Vita A. Make a neken kiyanu or Samahara Vita. E de ve. We are to hari a demashua and a ha. E de ve kila. I would make them magamang. Uh, uh, she will come tomorrow. And then 
perhaps kian mini ni kemudian ni perhaps kian samahari itu hemat daya kuwe. So uh, after that we had the difference of may and might. This is one of the questions students have. May and might was a difference. So may and might can be used in the same way, but the difference is may tawada might helle nama very sure nah. May kian ni kita kagak dengar kalau kian she may come tomorrow. There is, a, uh, there is like 70% of chance for her to come tomorrow. But when you use might in the same situation, she might come tomorrow, you're not very sure about it. Like 20%, 30%, that's the probability of that incident to take place. Right? So may, might, that's the difference. So we talked about this and then may, might, tawada, oya, tikak, sure. When the pull one day, well, when the pull one negative, may time might time, but I sure rake again. Evil out of the my own nappy pavichikar no must key in a modal verb. She must be tired, must be tired. Now, this is not the only use of must. We'll be talking about must this week uh, because uh, when you uh, talk about must, you can, of course, talk about probability of something and also you can talk about obligation we are talking about that today and she must be tired she may be tired must be tired may be dear to my master she may be tired uh, 60 percent uh, 70 percent chance of but when you say must you're very sure about it okay so must ki anaka may time my time might tamai aduem Sit the window pull on certainty. You're not gonna may, you're not gonna must. I'll see you after the break. Welcome after the break, and you're with other than education, the English Council. She might come tomorrow. There is a 20% of chance for that to take place. Uh, she may come tomorrow, 60% to 70% chance of that happening. When you say she must come tomorrow, she'll definitely come because uh, the likeliness of uh, that incident is very high. So, uh, must. This is like you're not suggesting something, but you are advising someone or you say, you, you tell someone, okay, Better if you can do it. So the structure is you'd better. You'd better, you had better kiyane kama, you'd better kiyane ka kiyane. Api kaata hari politely dea karan na kalana ng hodai. Kila api podi advice akak vidya ta dena wa. Itta na di api pavichi karana me structure ka. So we ended the week with this structure. You'd better do it, she'd better do it, he'd better do it. Karana ng hodai. So, um, we don't use you'd better, he'd better, she'd better when we want to politely ask someone to do something because you'd better is not polite. Even though it is in the present and you tell someone, okay, this is the best thing for you to do now, this is not a polite way of asking someone to do something. So that's when you need your should, should modal verb. So this is the difference between you'd better and you should. By the way, you'd better always have that immediate uh, cause of action you need now itself. Right? Immediately, repercussions are face. That is there. The taste is there. So we were talking about it. If you don't do it, then you'll have to face the music of, what, of not doing it. You'll have to face the repercussions. You may have negative uh, consequences. Or you may have to face negative consequences if you don't do it. Negative they are quite a when when they the thing and I'm making a color. You'd better do it. You'd better study. You'd better go there. If you don't go there, then something bad will happen. Kira poli ni kang eka tule poli ni kang wahing oru ya ki ano wagi narakak sit the way. That's the best thing to do now. But don't use this. You'd better with your bosses, teachers in a formal setup because this shows. Um, uh, that you are not polite when you are asking someone to do something. Right, so use should instead. Make a karala apio never a kala. And then this week we are going to start with our should and the must. So as we ended the week, 
in the last week with should. I thought of starting this week with should. Now should and must. What's the difference? You should go there. You must go there. You use it to advise people, right? You use it to advise. I mean, this is the best thing to do. Should and must. So what's the difference? Make a kinek harisarai. Right? One modal verb is very strict when we when if you use it to advise someone or when you use it to uh, suggest someone to do something, one modal verb is very strict. The other is not that strict. You can of course um, choose in between. You can either do it or you can like leave it. Right? What's that Sarabara modal verb? Here, you should stay home. You must stay home. Very good. Yes, what must take a It's very strict. Must take a So let me show you an example. Look at the screen. You should stop smoking. You should stop smoking. Here, look at your should. You should st stop smoking. Now, you use this particular sentence to advise someone, to ask someone to not to do something, right? You should stop smoking. We are Navatanone, right? But when you ask someone to uh, stop smoking here using should, of course, that person has the choice. I mean, either he can stop smoking or he can continue to smoke. He's not under obligation, strict obligation to do that for you. It's not a very strict obligation. Not very strict. Look at this, look at the screen. People must obey the law. People must obey the law. If you don't obey the law, you will have to face the negative consequences of not obeying the law. So it's a must. Do you have a choice? No, you don't have a choice. It's a must. So, let's say your wife asks you to bring something for you, right? For example, uh, let's say husband is Kamal. Kamal, you should bring that book. Hmm, Kamal has a choice. Gain up, pulua? No, gain not pulua, no problem. But if your wife says, you must bring that book, Please, Kamal, bring that book because your wife is um, very direct and she is using a must and very strict on what she needs. She's strictly using, she's using must in a sentence. That means you are under strict obligation to bring that book to her, right? So there is a difference. Kauruhari yoga nanti should dala mas dala dia kalau yutui kela kia nak kita should dekedi bara adui mas dekedi bara wedi. Remember this. Okay, right. So this is about should and the must. And uh, of course, you use should and must to advise or recommend things, right? You use should and must to recommend things. Recommend. Honda. Recommend karana kela kya ne? Make a kalot hondai kela kya ne? Me dekha ma paavich karane. Look at the screen. Me dekha ma should and must both be used to talk about necessity. Yam dayak kali yutui via yutui obligation. Kali yutui via yutui eka eka mona the obligation kya ne? Karane te bandi line na to advise. Ava vaha dayak dene. Me tu na te ma use karna hai by must ka sarai me vava ladi. Me tu na ma dekha ma use karane should must. Me tika tamai. Nimut must take bar fadi. It's a strict obligation, right? Okay. So, uh, advice recommendation. Look at the screen. 
you should eat more vegetables. Of course, when you tell someone you should eat more vegetables, that person has a choice. He can either eat or he can skip eating vegetables, no problem. But when you say you must eat more vegetables, then you must eat it. I mean, it's a must. It's an obligation. It's something that you really have to do. It's a necessity. It's compuls compulsory. It's mandatory for you to do it. You must eat vegetables. Otherwise, um, uh, uh, something bad will happen. Must. Kaliyutu, you are under obligation, strict obligation. Right? He should see a doctor. He has a choice. He should see a doctor. He should see a doctor. Yeah, doctor can echo bell. Whoop, hundai. Should see a doctor. Right? But when you say you must see a doctor, it's a must. Compulsory. Compulsory obligation. Right? So you use should in the same way uh, you use uh, can. Right? With all the subjects, it's the same. Right? I, we, you, they. Mim own make a Right? You have your main verb there, eat. Let's say the verb is eat. Right? You put your should here. Same way you use your can. Hematism a verb because the Kalinta may be modal verb because done. Same thing. I should eat, you should eat, they should go, we, he should play, he, she should uh, dance, it should sleep. Must is also again same. I must go, we must play, they must write, uh, we must talk, he must come, she must uh, uh, see, she must uh, drink, it must sleep. Must, should. They can make a video. Can we do it? Then, if modal verbs are bankable, they say it. Like, except the uh, modal verbs similar, uh, more, uh, verbs, uh, the, uh, the auxiliary similar to modal verbs like be able to, have to, are gave up. I was talking about the week before. Uh, was it last week? No, not last week. Just a week ago. Like, week before the last. So, uh, we were talking about have to and be able to. These verbs act like modal verbs, but these are not modal verbs. So, it will change. Uh, I have to, but she has to. And be able to, I am able to, but he is able to. And we are able to. That will change. And also the modal perfect. I could have uh, would have okay, could have and you have I mean of course could have treat every uh, subject the same way have a verb past participle right it's not that easy the structure with could have and then uh, later we will have should have right uh, otherwise all the modal verbs will act the same way so it's very easy. Right. So tomorrow we are going to look at must and uh, how strong you can be using must in your obligations. And then let's uh, move forward with the rest of the lesson. Have a good day.